It helps determine how and what motivates a horse. So what that means is, do, do they like you to constantly ask? Do they want an interaction with asking? Do they like you to show that piece and then let them be? Are they motivated through rest, through release? What motivates them? For any riding horse, you're getting a connection here. So you're literally communicating, getting a deep connection. So you'll, you'll build that connection by listening to them as well as getting the personality and the character. If we're looking at our older horses, retirees, this brings motivation and something for them to do. If you've got a horse coming back into work, this can get the fitness. If you've got somebody in pain and they're rehabbing, it gives them something to do. So you're now hearing from young through to old, the obstacle course is beneficial. There's really only one horse type that I wouldn't recommend. And what I'm coming from is the place of experience, and I hope my words help you so that you don't make the same mistakes. The obstacle course builds confidence. So you're asking the horse to do these exercises through gestures of body language, and then they facilitate that, they do that. If your horse is confident and a stallion, and he's now at liberty, and he's really posturing, and you say, let's connect a bit more here, and he's already confident, it's dangerous to do that. So if you're somebody that does a, has a performance horse and that you're always in control, like in an arena doing dressage, you're now out of control. So there is no control here. And that horse may turn around and go, remember when? <laughs> and then, then it's not so fun. So it really allows you to know what kind of relationship you have with your horse because it comes out here. There's the benefits for the horses. So we're looking at the body language as a whole. When we come to communicate with him, our eyes will be on eyes. The reason being, you capture the thought, you capture the whisper in the eye. If you've been told not to look them in the eye, you cannot capture the whisper. Watch wild horses. Watch any horse. My eyes will be on eyes so that I can capture that thought. I'm looking at the softness of the eye, the, what he's thinking. So with knowledge, you begin to understand where he wants to move to, what he's thinking, if he's hesitant, and how to respond. If we're on the left side of the horse, we can block him on the left and he'll go right. If we're on the right side of the horse, we block right and he will go left. If we get in front of the girth area, we will either draw the horse to us, slow the horse down, block him, change direction, I think I said draw him to us, or indeed challenge him. I'll qualify this in a minute. Okay, so I got the breakaway back at 45. He's looked at the chairs, his head's tilted to say he's looking at the chairs. My eyes are on eyes, and I'm going to ask him to go forward. And what I'd like him to do is just explore the arena and make sure he has a good look around. You're going to see his ear locked on. He's looking at this piece. His ears locked on, that means he's paying attention to where I'm at. He's now looked at the top. So subtle gestures means he's looked at every single thing in this arena. And it's not until then that I can actually ask him to do something specific. As soon as you see the try retreated. So I retreated, now he's coming back to go, that was awesome, right? That's what you're looking for. So he's touching it and then going, what if I come and you can pet me now? You're gonna hide behind there. So, so he got an instant reward through a release of the eye contact as well as the retreat to say what I wanted was for you to investigate an obstacle. And he works off of positive reinforcement and he loves the reward of the touch. But you're getting an idea of how you train your horse and that's important. So as a horse trainer, we're looking to meet our horses where they're at, not change them to be robots. So in this moment, I've seen that how gentle he becomes he looks at everything, he's a looker, and he started to touch. We're going to say to him, there's more to this than just one touch, and I'd like him to leave, look at that for a breakaway. Smooth breakaway, quick learner, and he's told me that those people were there just a few moments ago. If I cut him off left, but I can't, um, he go right. There, pause. Okay, say so I wanted him to come through here at that point, I blocked him and I'll ask him to come through so this is an enclosed area. We'll see his response. Perfect. So my eyes are down, shoulders are no longer square. I'll square up to ask 
ask him to stop just there. I'll put my eyes on his eyes. Let's see this one. And he said, I can't back up, but I will leave. Okay, we're going to block on the right. Here, go left. Block on the left, if I can get there. And here, go right. Perfect. Stop. And ask him to go forward again and stop. Forward and stop. Good job. Now, we see if we can draw him to the chair. And that's telepathy and body language. So he's going to say, now what? <laughs> so I've got to have my next plan. I'd like him to go over there. So the nose up is also a gesture. He's saying, I know what you're going to ask. Not really my deal. <laughs> but I look at his face, so I'm phrasing that to try. I'm going to block the left. I'm going to aim a little bit more for that corner. One step at a time, pause, one step, pause, nice job, and a turn, not yet. <laughs> Trying to get in closer to you guys, there you go. So, you've got to be cautious on the pressure, because you're saying I can't turn back yet, perfect, pause. Straight up, you can't look at me, pause, and straight, pause, straight, He says, do you want me to touch that chair again? So go to his left and move his nose over. You'll see the moving of the nose. Move the nose over again and ask for a step. So that's how subtle it is. See the opportunity. He's never touched that piece. It don't be goal oriented that you get stuck on what you're doing. I'd like him to bring up his head. So I'll first visualize and then show him that. And then you're going to ask him to follow you over there through body language, through eyes, and through the visualization. So first thing, he's got to connect with you and nobody else. Be clear as to what you want to do. There we go. Keep his attention up. So what we're looking at is our shoulders to be a little more upright. Shoulders upright. Because you want to walk like a leader and leaders don't walk around. Keep your head up. Look where you're going. That's it. 
There you go. Okay, let's show you, show him the chairs. Let him there like that. See that? So as soon as you think something, if you've got a very intuitive force, they'll do that. What that means for you is you've got to have a healthy awareness of what on earth you're thinking. That's the key. Because what you don't want to do is think something and then tell them off for doing it because you've just thought it. And then you'll say, I wasn't ready to do that. Rubbish, you've already said it. So you've got to be very conscious with him. He will deserve the best person because he's intuitive. That way, ask him to stand and not follow you. Okay, so what did we need to change? You walked off and you had no clue what he was doing. Let's try that again. So you're going to learn from people. And the key is if you just wander off, he's going to come. So you've got to have that clarity of it. And the body language has to match your vision. Has to. And that means, there, that's a good one, he's not coming. And you would stare at him to say don't come and you'd expand your energy to say don't come. And you'd look him in the eye and you could back up. And that would say don't come. Back up, don't let him follow you. That's it, don't let him follow. Don't let him follow, don't let him follow. There, don't let him follow you. There, that's, there, see the energy's big? Bold. So there you see it, just for a second. Yeah, so the eyes are up, the body's square, and saying don't follow, and he's not even thinking at all. And when he gets the eye contact back, you can draw him to you. Get your eyes on eyes now. And then when he looks at you, drag your eyes to your feet. Now, you guys see that? And stop your feet, stop your feet, stop, stop. Perfect, and crazy. Well done, well done. See, you guys can see the value of the eyes, and now realize what are you doing at home? Is it conflicting messages? Because these guys are the most patient species on the planet. Most patient. And the cool thing, cool thing about all of this, they're waiting for you to learn. And they will forgive you the moment you learn. Thank you.